Okay, hello guys so this is the redmi note 7 and in this video i will show you how to bypass the unlock bootloader using a free tools okay this is on official ways you can use this method if you cannot use the official ways or your me account has been bypassed so after this <coughs> you can let's custom recovery root your pawn using the stock rom or change the rom using any custom rom okay all the step and file i will provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box okay so stay tuned and check it out hello guys assalamualaikum meet again with ombop right here and today we're going to do uh, instant unlock bootloader for this one okay this is the redmi dot 7 and the pawn it's still in lock position okay let's go to the additional settings right here developer option and you can see right here <coughs> the me unlock status is still locked okay so it means it's not has been unlocked Okay, let's go back. Go back again. <clears throat> you can see right here it's using the Mu 12.5.3. This is the lace the last update for this one. And uh, because it has not been updated again. Okay, it's using Android 10. And next we have a problem right here. We cannot do the official unlock bootloader because this pawn has been bypass my account okay so i cannot add uh, my account right here okay so let me show you okay let's go to the my account and <clears throat> let's load in using a pawn number okay so i have put it the uh, pawn number and the password and hit sign in and it will set could not check device for security info okay so from my experience the error message is caused by the pawn has been bypassed my account so we cannot do unlock bootloader we cannot root this one and we cannot let's uh custom rom <coughs> so the solution we need to bypass the bootloader and i'll show you how okay first thing i want to do i want to go to the facebook because i also want to show you the bootloader status in the facebook boot okay now we are in the cmd or the powershell let's run the facebook device and this is our serial number okay you can check later to make sure it still have the same serial number and let's tap fastboot space om space device dash info okay you can see right here the device critical unlock is false it means that has not been unlocked okay you also can type fastboot space get far space all okay it will show you the lots of variable and you can also check the product okay this is the left hander <clears throat> okay so let's continue i will switch the screen and turn off the one Okay, yeah, now we're back and the pawn has been turned off and also i also already opened the case okay so we must open the case to do the bypass bootloader okay make sure you using the right tools okay just hit up this part and slowly open it using uh some tools like this okay be careful it can break your back case okay 
and also be careful because we have a fingerprint right here and you can accidentally rip it off okay <laughs> so we already open it and <clears throat> okay you can also remove the uh, sim tray and unplug the power source if you want to and next we want to do the test point okay <clears throat> so you need the pin set like this okay and connect the two dots in the pond and then plug us your usb cable okay i will show you okay that is the test point it's kind of hard from this position <laughs> Okay, so I will try to do the test point and after that uh, we can continue. And now let's try to do the uh, test point. Okay, so in here I already have the picture of the lavender. Okay, we can zoom it right here. And test point is basically just connecting the two dots two dots using a pin set or other stuff this one and this one okay so let's try it and now you can see in the device manager now we have a new port that's called qualcomm is it's USB key loader 1008 and it's on the COM 17. Okay, the COM can be different in my computer or your computer, but it's not a problem. Okay, so we have do the test point right here now. Flash the modifier from where? Okay, we're using the Mi Fast 2017. Okay, now. Let's go to here and this is the steps. Okay, step one. Ideal modify firmware. Let's copy the path right here and put it in here. Okay. And now hit refresh. It will show on the port. Okay, same in the device manager. Then select the screen all and hit flash and it will start flashing <clears throat> okay flash done <clears throat> and now next step we need to go to the fast bit mode okay so let's unblock the usb cable and plug again the power source okay if you already unplug it you need to plug it again okay now let's go to the fast bit mode by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time <clears throat> okay now let's plug the usb cable okay <clears throat> you can see right here on the screen <clears throat> it says device attached but you cannot see the screen in your phone okay it's kind of blank and it is in intentionally okay so uh, don't be panic basically we're we're now in the facebook mode but you cannot see the screen okay <clears throat> now i'm going to open the cmd okay let's type facebook device again you can see right here we have our uh, serial number still the same and then next step okay. run me unlock sod okay. second step this is the windows apps okay let's open it <clears throat> you will see something like this in chinese language all we need to do is just hit check it will show on the serial number same like the password okay and now I just hit unlock 
and we will see the <coughs> green color in here and it means that we have successfully unlocked the bootloader okay nice and then next step <coughs> We need to unplug and block again the board socket because we want to go to the Facebook again. Okay. And now we can see the, uh, the color of this from the status screen. It means that the device has been unlocked. Okay, so let's open the CMD. Same serial number. Okay, now let's check the bootloader status. US boot space OM device info and we go. Now we have our <clears throat> bootloader unlocked. Okay, so next steps. Now we need to flash the fixed bootloader. So unplug and plug again the power source. Okay, so remove the USB cable. Let's unplug the power source right here. Okay, now let's press the volume down and the power button at the same time. And like before, you don't, you will not see anything. Okay, just a blank screen, a dark screen. Now let's plug the USB cable again. Okay, it's connected. <clears throat> Check the serial number again. Okay, this is our serial number. And then let's flash the fixed bootloader. Okay. <clears throat> so step three, let's fix bootloader right here. And this is the script. Let's open it. And basically, it will flash all this file. Okay. This m and lib blah 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 to the xblb back. Okay. Okay, I'm going to open it using the CMD and run the command. So we will get uh, information if there is any error. Okay. Right click on the on the explorer. Okay, now let's run the export loader. Okay, hit enter. And it will... Uh, you will see it start flashing some files that quite small. Okay, done. <clears throat> and then it finishes. After this, you can flash the stock ROM. And now we need to prepare the stock ROM. So in here, I'm using the <clears throat> last firmware update. Vendor 12.5 m3 and just download the file and extract to a folder so i already put it in here okay this is the original firmware copy the path and let's open the me flash again let's paste the path right here select clean all and hit repress okay you can see right here now it's connected to the fast boot mode uh you can see it's still the same serial number and let's just hit flash it will start flashing all the files okay so it it will need uh sometimes so we'll skip this one and now it's already done you can see right here we have a green color and the one also already turned on okay <clears throat> so after this you can root your pound, flash a custom recovery, flash custom ROM or other stuff. Okay. So it will take time until it boots into the into the home screen. So I will skip this one and let's try to force reboot the pawn to the fast boot mode. Okay. Because I don't want to wait. <laughs> yeah, let's press the <coughs> volume down and the power button. Okay, wait several seconds. Yeah, now let's plug the HP cable again. And now let's open the CMD again. Facebook device, still same serial number. Uh, Facebook, 
to OM device info and our device still unlock okay nice so let's try to flash a custom recovery okay so android show me seven redmi note seven okay let's flash a custom recovery let's use the orange fox and now let's try to boot it into the recovery let's type fast boot space reboot and after you hit enter just press the flow map okay let's try it Okay, nice. So now we are in the custom recovery. Mm. So we have successfully <coughs> unlocked the bootloader from the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 using the unofficial ways. Okay, so you can apply this to any Redmi Note 7 pawn. And if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section. Okay, if you feel it, it is very helpful. Uh, you can give it a thumb or share a comment if you succeed. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video. Assalamualaikum.